Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to record gameplay on your M1 iPad Pro from 2021. You can also follow this tutorial if you have an older iPad Pro, just keep that in mind. So first of all, uh, for this video I want to record some Grid Autosport gameplay. How do I do that? So let's open up settings, let's find control center, and then let's scroll down until we see screen recording. Just tap on the plus, and now we've just enabled screen recording. So by default, on iPadOS, screen recording is a feature which Apple allows you to do. Apple also bundles in a native screen recorder. So I'll show you how to use that. And then if you want to record gameplay properly, I'll show you a screen recorder from the App Store, which I recommend you use. So let's start the recording. How do we do that? Well, we swipe down from the top right until we have the control center. Once we have the control center, we see this new uh, screen recording icon. We long press on this one. And then you see screen recording and photos. Just make sure you select the photos. This is Apple screen recorder. And you see microphone and currently it's off. So what this means is you know you can hear me speaking right now. Let's say you were speaking while recording. No one would hear that. If you turn on the microphone, people will hear you. Uh, even if the microphone is off, the actual game audio will be captured as long as you have silent mode off and there is sound on your iPad. So. What we'll do is if we want to start the recording, we just tap on start recording. We have a timer and once the timer is counted down, the uh, iPad screen is now being recorded. So if we just navigate around, let's say we go to career, resume, all of this is being recorded, right? With the uh, game audio as well. So what I'm going to do is I'll just like play for like 10 seconds and then I'll stop. I'll show how to stop re uh, the recording and then I'll move to the next part. All right, so remember, screen recorder is still active. We'll just play this for a little bit, move around. So I'll we'll just go like this, boom, boom, boom. We'll go like this for the fun of it. All right, so let's just say that was the end of the gameplay. What you do to stop the screen recorder is you just find the control center again, and you should see this icon flashing red. That means the recording started. You can either just tap on the icon or long press, stop recording, and then the screen recorder uh, video should be saved to photo and then the screen recording should be saved to your photo so let's have a look at it so i'm going to open up the photos app and if i just scroll down to the most recent so just do that and we should see the video so you can see here is a screen recording and if i turn on audio yep you can hear audio fully working and let's have a look at that race from earlier and you can see that is fully recorded as well now the problem with this screen recorder is depending on your device, but also uh, the situation, you may notice that the quality isn't the best. Like, you know, the bit rate is probably around like four megabytes, five megabytes a second. Well, if you want to uh, record really crispy quality video, so let's say, you know, you play COD Mobile, PUBG, Fortnite, Apex Legends Mobile, and you want to record the gameplay and you don't want there to be any quality loss. Well, I recommend you go to the app store. Again, app called Record It. So let's just record it. I won't leave it in the description. It's just, you know, 10 second search. Download this application. And I'm not paid to say this, but this is a premium screen recorder. And this one's incredible, right? Because with the Apple screen recorder, all the options are set for you. However, with Record It, if you get Pro, which I'm just saying the free version of this app is useless. It used to be really good when it was free, um, but now they just made it. So the free version is only 480p recording. Before it used to be 720p60, which is pretty good, but... This will let this. So you see, I have Pro. When you have Pro, you can choose whatever resolution you want. So you can choose 1080p. And the important part here is the bitrate, right? So Apple Screen Recorder is maxed at five megabytes per second. Problem with this is again, if you're playing a game which has like a lot of you know graphics and stuff, you're not really good. you're gonna have like quality drop. However, if you increase the bitrate, I recommend you have it at eight me megabits per second. We can also have it at twelve as well. If you're recording something which has like really high quality. Well, you set this and you're going to have no quality loss in the recording. As well, you can choose the frame rate. So you can use it 60 FPS, 30 FPS, whatever frame rate you want. And this is really useful if you're playing a game that's like at 30, like Real Racing 3. And it just means that your iPad will use less resources and, you know, it's more efficient. So once you've set up your uh, recording, you just tap on this recording icon and it'll bring to the screen broadcast. And you just want to select record it. And then again, the microphone on the roof. I spoke about that earlier. And then you just tap on start broadcast and then it will record the game. So uh, a good example of this would be Com Mobile. We'll just go back to Grid Autosport because that's the game that's open. And we'll continue. 
you know, we'll just race around or whatever. Probably what this game is, you know. It, it also looks good on Apple Screen Recorder. Like, Commo was a really good example of, you know, a game which a ton of quality drops on Apple Screen Recorder. But when it comes to uh, this Apple Store Screen Recorder, it works great. And I'll just say this right now. Try the iOS screen recorder, you know, the one by Apple, before you go on and, you know, get recorded. Because if the Apple one suits your needs, then there's no real point of paying, you know, £4. But, you know, I paid it ages ago. The, the recorder works great. So, that is the important part in my eye. So, just recorded a bit of gameplay. And there's a couple of ways to stop this uh, screen recording. So, we can swipe down from the top right and do the same way with the Apple screen recorder. But if you want to, you can go back to the recorder application and then tap on stop recording. And it will stop the recording manually. So you may get an error code when this happens. See, uh, recording stopped. But you see the error code is user stop recording manually. So we'll just tap on OK. And you can see everything is fully working. And I'm looking at the bit rate. And I think I actually will have to be higher. You can see there is a bit of a graphics fidelity. So what we'll do is we'll just increase it. Because we can. So we'll just set this to 12. And we'll just try this again. And let's have a look at the recording now. So you saw there was a bit of like quality loss there. But remember, we can always change the bit, right? So let's have a look at this. So we're going to go like that. Boom. And let's see how the quality is now. So just go a bit like this. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to intentionally crash and then we'll see how the recorder is. So I kind of need to build up speed here. <laughs> There we go. Oh, what a shame, huh? So, what we do? Stop the screen recorder. I'm going to stop it this way. And we'll just go back to the application. And there's the recorder. Let's have a look. And, I mean, you can see now there's no real quality loss when the name changes. Before there was. So, you can tell it does make a difference. And if you want to save the screen recorder, you just tap on share, camera roll. You can also edit this, so let's say you have some this part at the beginning you don't want. You can just go trim, and then you can just get rid of that, right? So just start from here, whatever, and then we'll move the control center part. Boom. Save. And it does have to render the video, but really it doesn't take very long for, for the cuts, which is always nice to see. And um, just wait for this to finish. And that should have saved to our camera, so let's have a look. Photos. And I don't think it saved to my camera, which means it must be in my recordings. There we go. Well, that was a scared for a second. So once we have this, share camera roll, and then it's in our camera. So there we go. You can see there's the recording. And um, yeah, it's really all you need. So... Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. I do genuinely use the recorded screen recorder personally, which is why I showed it off in this video. And um, yeah, bye-bye.